Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Three Southern Hemisphere Pinot Noirs here. Uh, I've got one from Chile to finish with, uh, one from New Zealand in the middle, but I'm starting in Australia uh, with Trentum Estate Pinot Noir 2014. Uh, and from the, this is from the Murray Darling. And uh, it's, uh, I've got them in, well, this, this one's 13.5%, the others are both, I think they're both 14%, so uh, not much difference in alcohol. Uh, let's just dig into them and see where we get to. When I think of Pinot Noir, I think of it as being uh, needing somewhere that's uh, not a particularly uh, hot and sunny. And when I think of the Murray Darling, I think of somewhere that's a bit hot and sunny. Um, so when I stick my nose in there, I get slightly jammy aromas. It doesn't feel like it's gone too jammy, uh, but there's not much of that Pinot lightness, freshness, delicacy about it. There's a nice juicy glug of red fruit, but if someone had told me uh, that that way, if I, I, well, I can tell from the colour that it's a bit paler than Shiraz, but if someone had told me that that uh, had rather a lot of Shiraz in, I would have believed them. And this is bright, juicy, raspberry, ever so slightly jammy stroke, jammy dodger character. Um, it is, it, as a wine, it, it's fair enough. Um, uh, as a Pinot Noir, as I was suspecting from, from having smelt it, it hasn't got that, um, that daintiness that I want. Uh, so, good juicy glass of red wine. The Australians use this term, good dry red. Nice dry red. It would be a decent dry red, but um, as Pinot... Yeah, a yeah. little bit of mintiness coming through. Okay, yeah, fair enough, but uh, not very Pinot-like. Um, let's see whether wine number two is Pinot-like. This is The Edge, nothing to do with you two. Um, so this is from Escarpment Vineyard, 2014 Pinot Noir from Martinborough, at the bottom end of New Zealand's North Island. Let's give this one a whirl. And this is a bit more pinoid, for want of a better term. Um, there, in, and particularly, uh, I think of uh, the the Martinborough style, where which is uh, dark cherries um, and with maybe a little uh, undercurrent of earthiness about it. Um, it smells like it's not going to be uh, incredibly supple and. Uh, yeah, really v voluptuous, wafty Pinot Noir, but it feels like it's going to have a good, uh, juicy glug of fruit, but some of the, with this, some of, some of this Pinot Noir perfume flitting in and out. Um, and um, yes, I mean the, the yes, there's the cherries, a um, bit of plum in there too. Let's try it. And it's juicy and it's rich, but it, it's um, it, this has got the, some of that. Um, ethereal character. You, you think about with Pinot Noir, you go into slightly wafty words and you go you know, sort of like, oh, yum, ethereal and uh, sexy, svelte. Uh, but it, it is that. It's got uh, like this gush of fruit. Um, yeah, the plums, the, the dark cherries, a little bit of violet uh, flitting in and out there. And this freshness and earthiness. I mean, 14% alcohol, but it's carrying it nicely. Uh, it doesn't come across it with, with any heaviness at all. Uh, it's, I looked on the back label, it said full bodied. I wouldn't have said full bodied at all. Medium bodied, full flavoured, maybe. Um, and uh, another thing I notice about it is the more you stir it, the more you waft it, the more different characters come out. So, um, so I do like this. Yeah, rich but fresh. Let's see whether we can say the same about uh, the third wine. Um, so two years older, uh, this is uh, Littoral um, Pinot Noir from Vigna Ventolera and from the Leda Valley in Chile. Um, and um, yeah, again, 14% alcohol, two years older than the uh, previous two. Uh, let's see whether age has mellowed it or, or not. Weird, I stick my nose in there. And I was talking about Shiraz on the first one. Uh, it, there's a sweet, um, mature, leathery character that really reminds me of the way in which um, things like Barossa Shiraz develop. Um, there, is, uh, there is red fruit, probably the, rather than dark fruit, uh, uh, characters coming through. So more on that strawberry uh, and the, the red plum rather than the uh, blackberries and, uh, and damsons. But um, yes, I, just, I would have definitely put this in Australia. Get a little bit of uh, things like cherry cola there. Um, and then there's this drying character from, um, I suspect, oak tannins. It feels that, that there is, uh, I, I get a little hit of smoky oak coming through. And, uh, and the finish is just a little bit too dry and severe. It's strange because uh, the, the fruit flavours are decent enough, um, but um, 
it, it, there's they're mature, whereas the structure still feels young and gawky. Uh, it's not for me a great wine. It's it's okay, uh, but um, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what they're trying to do here. I'll just have another slug. Yeah, there's a greenness about the oak there that's uh, uh, making it not quite as successful as it should be. Uh, the edge from this escarpment is, is the star of these three by uh, by quite a margin. The other two, hey, Pinot Noir, uh, Pinot Noir can be a bit difficult, and uh, I think in the first and the third, um, that showed through. See you soon.